Good evening and welcome back to another beer review. I'm Ben the Beer Lad and today I'm going to be doing a Brew York. This is one of the limited edition beers. This is State of Mind 2021 Barrel Age Ex Espresso Petronium or Petronum. Okay, Barrel Age Espresso Petronum. Um, bourbon Barrel Aged Vanilla Coffee and Chocolate Imperial Milk Stout. This is Flux number 7. It says all that right on the front. Um, this is a Harry Potter one, if you didn't get it from the name. I had to give it a double read. Um, and, to be fair, the can art's quite nice. Lightning bolts, glasses, books, owls. It's very hard to see. It's grey on grey. There you go, you can see. Um, I got this from Priest Town for money. It was quite expensive because it's a limited edition. But, um, the Flux have been uh, on-off. I'll say on-off. I've on-off had them. I've had one, five, and seven. I've reviewed five and seven. Um, only because they're really hard to get hold of. Anyway, it says here, everything flows, nothing remains. Um, robust, magical, smooth, rich, roasted. State of mind edition on a scale of one to ten, where nine and three quarters obsessed with the barrel-aged espresso patronum, Costa Rican coffee and chocolate in the base beer give fragrant, nutty, and roasted notes. Balanced with a smooth... Vanilla finish, 16 months aged in burble, uh, bourbon cauldrons, but that's scratched out and put barrels over it. Uh, adds a warming richness to elevate the beer's decadence to another level, as if you've just said Unguardium Leviosa. It says that, I'll zoom it in for you, focus it, come on, there we go, it says that, there. Try and hold still if you want to read it, there you go. Um, yeah, let's just crack it open, shall we, and see what we've got. There is no other guff on here at all. Let's see what we've got. I'm looking forward to this. Small chocolate from here, and I mean here. Right, so spilt it on my finger. We have got nice jet black beer with this sort of ruby colour on the bottom. I'll see if I can get an angle. Yeah, anyway, nice ruby colour on the bottom, but jet black beer, tanned head, very compact bubbles, looks lovely. Um let's get a smell, shall we, and see what we get. Chocolate, dark and milk, vanilla. A little bit of coffee, not too overpowering or too strong. That smells lovely. Let's get a mouthful of floating carb. Oh, that body is thick, creamy. It's like drinking a milkshake. Uh, carb is very, very light. It's almost non-existent. So far, so good. Let's get a big old taste, shall we? Cheers. It's boozy. <laughs> you can taste the booze straight away. 12% and then the bourbon. You can taste it all. Um, so, besides the booze being throughout the entire thing, you've got... Coffee and roasted malts, uh, well, roasted coffee, as your starter flavours. Um, you move on to chocolate, vanilla, like a sugary taste to it. It's got really, really nice, rich, milky, sugar, uh, sugary, chocolatey flavour. And it goes into a nice finish with no flavour, but the barrel and the alcohol sort of leave you... With that cool breath feeling when you take it, a shot of like whiskey or vodka or some some strong stuff, and you get that really cool breathy feeling. That's right at the end. Leave your mouth dry. It's not bitter, nothing like that. Just dry. Booze is there along the tongue. It's gorgeous. That is, that's a gorgeous beer. I really really like this. Kind of wish I had another, but oh well. That is fantastic. I think with that, I'm going to go away and enjoy it, because 12% should not be thrown down your face, especially on camera. Um, so, 
Oh, I should say the texture of the can is it's gorgeous. It's matte, all matte feel. But then this bit sort of it goes between the black being matte and then the silver being a nice smooth, typical can feel. It's nice. I love it. I love the detail Brew York put into their cans. It's just nice, or well, especially these ones. Anyway, Brew York's um, State of Mind 2021. Uh, Barrel aged espresso Patronum, bourbon, barrel aged vanilla coffee, and chocolate imperial milk stout. Out of 10, let's get in the full bangers. It's a 10. It's gorgeous. I recommend this to anyone who hasn't had it. If you can get it, get it. It's, it's brilliant. Um, so, 10 out of 10. I think it's fantastic. If you've already had this, uh, let me know. Let me know what you think. If you like it, if you don't. If you've not had it, it's not on Brew York's website. At least I don't think. Because um, it is one of their limited edition beers. Kind of like how Salt does the Hex projects. I forgot I've got Hex 12. Um, Brew York are doing Flux. Um, yeah, so you're probably not going to find it on websites. You might be lucky if you find it in a shop like Barton's, which is in Ashton. Um, Priest Town have it, definitely. Or well, they did when I last checked. Mid-December. Um... It was like it was like seven pounds something. It's really expensive, but very much worth it. So if you've not had it, you might be unlucky. Uh, but I'll leave a link to Brew York's website in case you want anything. Um, if you like the video though, thumbs up, thumbs down, all that usual stuff. If you want to subscribe, consider doing so because the show must go on, etc., etc. So on and so forth. And I'll see you later.